everyone, my name is Bethany and I'm the training manager here at Yesware and today I'm going to show you how our Salesforce integration works. Yesware Salesforce integration allows you to set your data entry to autopilot, create contacts, leads, and tasks directly from your inbox, sync your Google Calendar events directly to Salesforce and associate them with a contact or lead. To log an email to Salesforce using Yesware, just go ahead and put in your recipient's email information. And now in the email settings section up here at the top of the Outlook ribbon, you just want to verify that sync email to Salesforce is toggled on. Once that's toggled on, it's as easy as hitting the send with Yesware button either down here at the bottom of the email settings or up here at the top of the Outlook ribbon. And as long as the recipient you've put into the to field here has a contact or lead record within your Salesforce environment, this email is going to automatically sync to Salesforce. So the full body of the email, the subject line, all of that's going to sync over to Salesforce. And then any engagement will also automatically sync to Salesforce. So any notifications of message opens, link clicks, the reply will all sync to Salesforce. And that's going to show up on the contact or lead page under the activity history. And you'll see here that we have message sent and then the subject line, reply in the subject line. So these are how it's going to look when you start playing around with Yesware. And this information is also going to show up on the account record, again, under that activity history. And then if the contact is assigned as a contact role on an open opportunity, you're going to see that on the opportunity level as well. So bare minimum, if it's a contact, you'll be able to see all this activity on the contact record and the account record. And then if the contact is assigned as a contact role on an open opportunity, it's going to sync to all three, to the opportunity, to the account, and the contact. Now, if you're writing an email, to someone who is not in your Salesforce environment. This email, even if you were to leave sync email to Salesforce turned on and hit send with Yesware, we're not going to sync that to Salesforce. We have nowhere to send it. So if you're writing an email, that's more of like a personal communication. That person's not in Salesforce. You don't need to worry about that syncing over to Salesforce. However, you know, maybe you're reaching out to someone for the first time and you're not quite sure if they're in Salesforce or not. You can use the Salesforce sidebar here to actually search for that recipient to see if that email address is in your Salesforce environment or, you know, look for the person's name and see if they're in here. And if they are, awesome. You know, go ahead and send that email without worry because it will sync to Salesforce. But if they're not in your Salesforce, environment. We're actually going to prompt you to create a contact or a lead here. So if you're reaching out to someone for the very first time and search to see that they're not in Salesforce, you can go ahead and get them into Salesforce and it's going to have all of your required fields as well as any custom fields. It is reflective of your Salesforce environment. So you can go ahead and put them in there and save. And now when you send that email off to that you know, particular individual and click send with Yesware, this is going to automatically sync to that new person's contact or lead record that you created in the sidebar. Also, if you're reaching out to someone who has the same domain as you, we exclude those from syncing to Salesforce. So even if you have sync email to Salesforce turned on and hit the send with Yesware button, if it's to someone with the same domain as you, even if they had a dummy record in Salesforce with a matching email address, we won't sync that over just so you don't have to worry about any internal communication syncing to Salesforce. 
Now the sidebar here, as mentioned, is essentially a mini instance of Salesforce to keep you where you spend your most time. So when you're clicked on an email to or from someone, the sidebar here is going to pull up that person's contact or lead record so that you can have it at a glance here. And that way, you know, maybe you get an email from someone to say, hey, I just wanted to let you know that my phone number has changed or my job title has changed. Well, you're already on their contact record here. Just quickly hit edit, you know, make any changes to the job title that you need to or to the phone number and then save. And now you have updated that. So you'll have really clean data in Salesforce. And alternatively, if you are clicked on an email to or from someone who's not in your Salesforce environment, again, we'll let you know over here that they're not in Salesforce and prompt you to create a contact or a lead. So that way, if you get an email from someone to say, hey, just wanted to let you know that uh, so-and-so has left the company, I'm going to be your new point of contact now. Instead of having to toggle over to Salesforce, you know, copy their information, paste it into Salesforce, see if that person's in Salesforce, and if not, create the contact or lead record, you know, we're doing half the work for you. We will already search just in the sidebar to see whether or not that person's in your Salesforce environment, and then help you to create the contact or lead record by pulling in some of this information here for you so that you don't have to worry about doing it and you can fill in all of your required fields because again, it's reflective of your Salesforce environment and then go ahead and save that. And now this you know, contact has been saved to your Salesforce environment. And two, if you get an email from someone that was not in your Salesforce environment, and then you create a contact or lead for that person, you can then log that person's email to Salesforce afterwards because that you know, contact will be in there. So you would just click log email to Salesforce, and then it's going to find the associated contact. Certainly you can you know, relate these to other places if necessary. And then it will also pull in the contents of the email. And then you can go ahead and save that. And I think I mentioned this, but just to reiterate that the sidebar this is essentially a mini instance of Salesforce, so you can use it to search for people. You know, if you are in your inbox and get a phone call from someone and want to quickly pull up their Salesforce record, you know, you don't have to worry about toggling. You can just quickly hit over here, search for that person, and then be able to see their Salesforce information. Also from the sidebar, you can create new tasks, new events, log calls, create new ops, new cases if you have access to them, all right from within the sidebar. Now, you may be noticing this background sync information here. So background sync is something that allows you to automatically sync any emails to Salesforce, whether or not you are using the send with yesware button or maybe you're out and about on the road using your mobile as long as you're sending your emails from your email address attached to your yesware license that will automatically log all of those emails to salesforce it is a setting that your yesware admin would have to set up through the menu and in the account section under their global policies so if you are interested in getting that set up, I would reach out to whomever manages your Salesforce, or excuse me, your Yesware relationship to get background sync turned on. So again, this would just allow you to have all of your emails be captured to the relevant Salesforce record, which means that if you forget to hit the send with Yesware button, you can still have that log to Salesforce. If background sync is not enabled and you forget to hit the send with yesware button, you can still sync these things retroactively. So just come into the sent items, click on the email that you need to sync retroactively. Uh, let's see, let's do this one. So click on the one that you need to sync retroactively and then click log email to Salesforce. And then again, you can manually log that to your Salesforce environment.